Yeah, well, I had come home earlier, and there was a gray hoodie on, that wasn't mine uh, on the uh, couch. And when I came home at 5.20, 5.30, I walked in that room, and the hoodie was gone. So I said, oh, no, but something was wrong. So I knew they'd been back in my, my house. So I thought, how in the world did they get in? Because the front was locked. So I thought, well, they must have jumped over my neighbor's fence. So I thought, well, I'd better check. And I walked around to the side of the garage, and there was the windows missing. It was gone. My son put that up temporarily. I'd peeked in, and I didn't see anything. So I came around here to open up the garage. And I'm not very good at opening my garage door, and I'm wiggling it around. And finally, I get it. And I lift it up. He's standing right about where that chair is. I said, what are you doing in here? Get out of here. He says, all I want to do is get my stuff. And I said, you don't have any stuff in here. All this stuff is my stuff. So I got my phone out of my pocket and I put in my code. Then I hit my camera and I took a picture of him. And I've got a thing that says 911, you know, emergency. I said, I'm calling 911, so just stay right there. And then I closed the door. But before I closed the door, I grabbed this. And I walked around the side of the garage, and he's trying to get out. He's got both hands like this and one leg out. And I hit him with his knuckles. I'm hitting him with that metal bar and poked him in his chest, and he backed up, and he kind of some, said something to me. He was angry. And I told him to stay put. And I'm talking to 911 at this time. She's telling me, no, get really back off, get away because they'll be here pretty soon. And I says, okay, I'll go back. But if I see him get, trying to get out again, I'm gonna go back in there and whack him again because he's gonna stay in my garage till the police come. And it actually seems sort of lethargic because as I look back, he's this far from me. All he has to do is lunge at me and give me one shove and I'm down and he's gone. And he didn't do that. It amazes me. It's Providence, I guess. I was just very angry that, that, you know, all my stuff was messed up. I had boxes of my kids' pictures and on the floor, and some of them were wet and turned over, and, little, you know, and papers that they did at school from my son George making his G's for the first time. And they, did, they didn't care about my life and all my belongings. He's been probably doing this for a long time, and it's too bad. I'm sure his mother did not have that kind of life planned for him. The policemen were wonderful. They came and, in fact, there was like five or six of them. They even had a canine dog and their tasers out. And, and it was, uh, they had me go way out there by then. One of the policemen, a younger one, a dark hair, kind of baby face to me. Of course, everybody looks young. And he said, I, did you do that? And I said, Annie, good for you. 